Penticton is known for many things, outdoor adventures, amazing scenery, and hardworking residents. Located in the heart of British Columbia's Okanagan Valley, it is easy to see why so many creative people call Penticton home. In this episode of Why I Love, three local filmmakers share the stories of the people and places that inspire them. Diana Sterling is well known in Penticton for her many businesses. She is an inspirational entrepreneur who is carrying out her family's legacy. I use the walk to just remember what it's, what's important for the day. The most important thing is that I'm supporting the staff today and making sure that they're safe and happy and supported and, and then making sure that the customers are having a great day. So it's kind of my calm before the storm of the day. <laughs> I'm Diana Sterling. I'm from beautiful, sunny Penticton, British Columbia, and I'm the owner and operator of four of Penticton's landmark tourism businesses. Local Landing Adventure Park has fun for the whole family. Lickety Split serves delicious ice cream. Coyote Cruises is the legendary Penticton Lake to Lake Channel Float. And finally, the iconic Penticton Peach on the beach serves social media worthy crazy shakes. Running these four businesses can get really hectic during the tourism season, but it's extremely rewarding to work with so many wonderful young people and to give back to our incredible community. So we've just come off of our busiest week for the beginning of July. I just wanted to say that you guys have been doing amazing. These are just the three reviews that came in yesterday. I wanted to read them to you because they're great. The staff were really great with our son and everyone was really friendly there. We would definitely return. The staff here are mostly high school students and they are great with kids. They make it fun for the children. Great job, local landing. You guys are just doing like a really great job. So just keep being smiley and doing your thing. It's like a marathon. I say our season's about 72 days, and yes, I know the number of days, and they're long hours, so starting at 8, finishing at 11 p.m. We have 140 staff, all teenagers that work for us, and my role is to make sure that I'm visiting all the locations. So it's constant retraining throughout the day. If they're failing, it's because we haven't trained them properly. It's the bottom line. The locations are only about a kilometer apart, so I'm just zipping between them from start to finish. Pretty exhausting. Coyote Cruises is the lake to lake channel float, so our guests are floating from Okanagan Lake all the way to Skaha Lake, about seven kilometer of a lazy river float. And it is definitely on the bucket list of, I think, all Canadians. How's it going? Pretty good. Good, you guys holding down the fort? Where's your music? We gotta have the right vibe over here, right? It's so important for us to be employing teens because they're amazing to start with. They are an absolutely wonderful group of employees. They make our businesses without a doubt. Uh, and we love the fact that we can provide an opportunity for them to grow throughout their time with us. Many of them are with us three, four, five, or even six years, but we have not a single employee, even our supervisors and our managers that are not teenagers. How's it going? I've worked here for the past four years. What I love most about it is the environment and all of the different staff members that I get to meet every single year. And I think I've become more of a, a leader. I think that people don't realize how much of an activist that Diana really is. Uh, I feel like she cares a lot about the people that work for her and the communities that they're involved in. To see the growth in these teams year over year, I absolutely love it. I wouldn't change anything that we do for that reason. I was living in Vancouver with my young family. I'd started my career with Microsoft after graduating with a business degree. When we made the decision to move up here, I remember crying the entire drive up here thinking it was the worst decision that we were making for our family. And 
Penticton has turned out to be the most amazing gift for our family. This community is beautiful. And how can you, this drive is amazing. I just can't believe that this is where we are. Well, it looks good in here. It's nice and clean. Thank yep. you. Thank yeah, you. Thank no you. I mean, this peach is an icon in Penticton. It is Penticton. It's a part of the community. The signing of the door. It's for our staff that leave. So it's just a way to, for them to leave their name on the peach. Danica came back. She thought she was done and she came back this year. She's now our supervisor this year. Maya is now our manager for Loco, so she's actually stopped working the peach, but she's our manager for all three of the businesses. This year's so much different than last year. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I think if it happens next time, guys, take the five minutes right then. Okay. Make sure they're charged. Like as soon as you see them not plugged in, okay. plug them in and then, and unfortunately our trainee forgot to plug the go-karts in. Mm. And while it might not seem like a big issue, it's a huge issue. They're electric. They're not going to get a full round out of it. These customers have just waited quite a while to get on the cards. So it could, does cause a ripple effect. On days like this, you're just supporting, 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 and doing whatever you can to make sure that the staff are okay. It's a busy day. Those lineups can be intimidating, but they're doing amazing. I'm always so proud of our staff. They're, they just, they always just do so well. <laughs> Bumper boat's really gone. Yeah, this is my lunch. <laughs> my parents still give me a lunch every day in the season. I think it's their way of just like, well, it's our way of connecting when it's so busy, but it's homemade bread. <laughs> so local landing was built in memory of my brother, Mike, who passed away when he was 26 years old in a workplace accident. We were farming growing up. So very, very close family, just my parents, Mike and I. When Mike passed away, my parents uh, no longer had the farm. My mom was a nurse and we were devastated, obviously. Um, my parents, with my brother's godfather, two years later after Mike's accident, decided to build local landing and um, my parents moved to Penticton to do that. It started out as a mini golf course. It was the therapy for my dad to be building this and to create a place where families could come and have fun. That was the whole goal of Local Landing, was to create a place where families could make memories. And for my mom, as you can see, the gardens are so important because her therapy with her best friend was to do all of the gardens here. So 10 years later is when we moved to Penticton to take over this family business when my parents were ready to retire because there was no way that we wanted to sell it because it was so important to our family and to the healing for my parents as well. Now we're a, a larger park. We have a whole day of fun instead of just mini golf. But the heart of local landing is, is and will always be here. And it is because of Mike. When we walk through, when I walk through here, see the gardens and see what my dad built, it's just, um, it's precious. The day starts very early at Penticton's Petrasek Bakery, where owner Jan stirs passion into every loaf. Morning is amazing. It's it's really it's amazing. The sunrise beautiful. Uh, you see the first people and usually the, the same people out of the window. They are like part of my day also because I saw them daily. <laughs> and also the moments that I, I know that I'm already doing something that most of the people are just sleeping and I'm already running. That's uh, it's kind of also feel good. My name is Jan Petrashek and I am baker. Like that? 
I am from Slovakia and uh, now I'm living in Canada, Pentington. Oh, sole mio. <laughs> Somebody had to sing. I'm very tall. <laughs> Some people, they know exactly from the beginning what they want to do. It was not my case. When I was 14, I was thinking about girls, I guess. <laughs> When it's come the revolution back home, I was 14. Everything was uh, messed up. It was the communism before and 1989 come democratic country, but Rome was not built in one day. How long have you and your wife been married? Uh, well, <laughs> that's a difficult question for the guy to ask. It was a young guy, very young guy. And it was quite difficult time this time back home. So we start to travel. We, we start to travel and one of the countries, they are destination somehow become an Israel and we end up in Tel Aviv. And this is where I start to work in a bakery. It was coincident and it was beautiful, nice French bakery. It was so beautiful, really. And morning was uh, also uh, magical. When, when you're already working, it's so quiet. And it's just kind of dark outside. And you see the sunrise and your bread's coming out from the oven. It's a nice smell and everything. So I think this is how it starts. There is everything changed for me, really. They changed my life. This is, we call it challah. This is originally challah. In Ukraine can call kulach. Germany, Zopfen, and back home, we call them Vianochka. I, I saw the bakery different way, how the people was passionate to do things. The boss running around and checking every inch croissant. They checking how you shape the breads, how the pressure you put, what's the temperature we take of each dough. You have to check the temperature of the water. They changed my life, definitely. This is from, from this point, I become a baker. Canada because I was looking for a better life, opportunity to have a better life. In Canada for 16 years, almost 17, my kids born here. I'm considering myself as a Canadian, as, a, as a Canada is my home. Now we have three kids, three daughters, and we are very happy to be here. Yeah, all of us. Huntington, he come here for a vacation. And this is it. Fall in love. <laughs> Few days here and uh, decision was made. It was the only one place. Pentington. That's that's that was the place. Yeah. I was in Pentington for uh, I think year and a half. We decided with my wife to, to open the bakery, and uh, I think we did good. It's a humongous part of your life, the food. I'm, I'm trying to make good food so people can remember. It's like some will say, I remember when my mom was cooking for me. Many times, this is just the memory, really. It's part of life. And if I'm doing those stuff, I'm definitely going to do the right job. So I guess that's how it should be. I'm amazed and I'm very, very thankful. It's so surprising daily to see people waiting to open the door. It's like something you saw on TV. They, they come, they're waiting for you, right? The, the expectation, it's, it's high. The pressure is there. 
I always doing my best. Everything what I do, I'm trying to go for 100%. I'm presenting myself to the people through my product. This is me who I'm selling, part of me. My wife, she told me that I will be never satisfied. <laughs> You're always thinking that you can do better than yesterday. Petrashek Bakery is the difference because, because, because of the flavor, because of the flavor what we bring here. Flavor is coming from us, not just from the ingredients, it's the time, it's the experiences. I think we are different uh, on a good way. We are the best. passion for Penticton's adventure sports brought two local photographers together. It's a friendship framed through a lens of activity and respect for the outdoors. My relationship with Caleb kind of started out as all great relationships start in the 21st century through Instagram. I was really drawn to his astrophotography and it was something that I really wanted to get into. I just felt like I needed to meet this guy. So I reached out and we've been friends ever since. I found our styles of photography and filmmaking really blended well together. It was a very seamless collaboration the first time we got together. My favorite lake to fish in Penticton is whatever Dave's fishing. Me, myself, I I'm find I'm not a very good fisherman, and I always have my most catches when I'm hanging out with hey Dave, yeah. and it's usually off of his rod. Fish on, baby! I find the landscape and lifestyle here in Penticton really influencing my creative style. It's really not hard to get a great photo here, and there's just so much to explore. And I think that's what me and Caleb really connect on. It's where we live, it's where we play, it's where we work. I think Penticton is the perfect place for an outdoor enthusiast or an athlete to call home. It's a lot of fun to collaborate with someone that sees things similar to you. I had been following his work for a while. Uh, his climbing photography was really eye-opening to me. He was able to just gain a perspective of climbing and, and illustrate what it's like to really be on the wall and the incredible talent that these athletes have. And he has himself to get up and above the climbers to capture that shot. The type of climbing photos I take are really in your face. I like to be like up there with the climber and to show this extreme angle. I like the challenge of it and it adds a whole nother element to the to the art form I think. When the Skaha Blast was first developed it was very grassroots. All the trails and all the climbs were developed by climbers, for climbers. And eventually different user groups came in, created hiking trails, biking trails and the community came together to make it a provincial park. And now it's a protected recreation area. I think what I want most out of my art is to show and share the stories that connect the people with these places. 
I think when we're able to connect with these places in a meaningful way, whatever that meaningful way is for yourself, we're a lot more likely to care about them and appreciate them. It blew my mind the first time I saw it. I've always had a soft spot for waterfalls. This place had tons. I think most of the people that go there come for a little, the natural water slide. But, you know, with more access, you start to see more garbage, graffiti, and just general debauchery. There's also a lot of good that's come out of it. There's, it's been a community effort to make this more accessible and to establish a proper trail in so that the area is preserved and enjoyed. And I feel like Penticton as a community really embraces that. Kayla really likes to get into the action, and I think uh, we have that similar style. Maybe a little too close to the action sometimes. When you get close to the action, you can you can see the sweat, you can see the emotion, you can taste the dirt. <laughs> It's so much fun when you go out with your friends or when Dave and I get together and go on adventures, but I think because we're artists first, athletes second, there's something unique when you're able to connect with high caliber riders and document what they do best. Every trail that you go on leads you to this epic lake view. There's no better way to end a day than to go find a nice scenic viewpoint and just enjoy the sunset. I'm so grateful to be living in this beautiful place and surrounded by all these amazing people. I can't think of a better place to live. I'm definitely excited to continue exploring this area with Dave. Um, we just continue to find more and more places and more and more people that are willing to go the distance to see these places and experience these places. Penticton's appeal comes from both its amazing landscapes and the people who call the city home. Who are the people you love in your community? Tell us about them at communitycontent at tellus.com. We will see you soon.